do. You see, I don't have water. I'm just thinking whether we're trying to reach mm -hmm. TDY, whatever, and no one like in stand up, no one answers anybody else's phone. I don't know. It's like it's something something nuts. But I asked Roy, and he's like two doors down. He didn't, he didn't hear it. Yeah, we're all right in the row. I just one three. So it gives me one for that. Let me use like one for that. For your, like, for your update brief. So jet lag. Back up a little and make the lighting right. Just need a signal. Make sure you get your good side. All right, all right, kids, heads up. All right, here we go. We are tasked for the 18Z Alpha, one full Alpha. I put on here in red where it's located right now. The uh, coordinates probably have not changed from what you planned. 23.2, yep. 60.8. That has changed. Slightly. No, actually, yeah. Okay. Moving 305 at 10. Uh, what I like to do is enter from the southwest. They want 150 mile legs on all sides. So it'll be down at 10,000 feet, 165, 170 miles out. Let me get everything calibrated. Yeah. Head on in from the southwest. Fix it. Um, is Larry here? There's Larry. Um, exit out to the northeast in the standard pattern. Final fix, exit to the southeast and then go home from there. We'll do uh, center releases and we'll do max wind releases on the north side of the storm. So in the, eggs, the first exit in the northeast and the second entrance in the northwest, we'll do a max wind release. Um, it's weakening a little bit. They're calling it a cat three right now, so it's downgraded from a cat four. They're looking for about 110 knots max. Yesterday they had 130, so we'll see what we get out there today. Um, Drew, I'll give you the latest coordinates that they had, or rather the coordinates on the last fix in degrees and minutes. 18 degrees 09, no, 1809Z, 21 degree 26 minute north, 5749 west. So we can use that maybe to do a little movement stuff. Um, there's no other aircraft in the storm while we're out there. There's three aircraft along with our plane in the landfalling storm in the Caribbean. But there's no other aircraft but us and Igor at this time. Well, my understanding is we're planned to be early and the second fix will be the on time. Mm -hmm. Correct. So I would say when we're ready, we can step it. Right. Yeah, the delay is within 10 minutes. I'm like, I wouldn't even bother with it. <laughs> so you think this is going to go actually with the budget? Yeah, factor? tell Buddy. This is, we hadn't flown yeah, it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hadn't flown it yet. Um, I'd say the biggest concern I got then is uh, let's make sure we do the slowdown early. Let's see. Uh, Lark. Lark to Saco is. Uh, if you yeah. want to make it cleaner, I can just change it on this. If I can picture a new one, it takes a two-second. Yeah, do that one. Right. So you have to get to yeah. that point. Then run it up. I think Sokka's coordinates. Yeah, it's worth it. 240 or 250. Yeah, let's go 25 to get above the pressure. We'll fly 249. Okay. Sweet. 250 is about to fly. Well, I got a feeling Bermuda's gonna get smacked. You see surface winds get calmer ahead, let me know we don't want to shoot past this. Oh, that's right, we're not doing yeah, the max wind release, we're just doing the center. Yeah, so I was, uh, we, we lost sight of the, the surface for now. Yeah, yep. Marvelous. Arco now, one, three, two, niner, seven, secondary, one, zero, zero, niner, six. One, if you want to try the position, go ahead slowly, go ahead slowly. Pilot now, so far it looks like for the escape path on um, the northeast, maybe this little gap here initially is what I'm thinking. I do, thank you.
West. 